this was interesting. I might spend a little bit of extra time on this one. Speaking of, you know, gender equality issues in Japan, at 80% of Tokyo high schools, uh, for all high schools in Japan, you need to pass an entrance exam to get in. Uh, it's not actually part of mandatory education. So, um, you know, it, it's all voluntary and schools all have their own entrance exams. There are, as far as I'm aware, not standardized national exams. Um, could be wrong about that. But based on this, so schools basically uh, set their intake of how many students they're going to take and the scores that are required to get in. However, I didn't know this until I read the story in the Mainichi that um, there are uh, apparently most schools set uh, a gender rating, which is basically that 50 uh, percent. 50% um, boys, 50% girls. So the, so the entrance exam scores are set differently for boys and girls in order to ensure that there are, you know, every year there are 300 boys and 300 girls. So what happens is because um, girls on average are doing better academically in 80% of schools, so 20% is the other way around, um, boys can get into a high school with a lower exam score than girls need to get because the average score for girls is higher, so it's more competitive, so it's harder for them to get in. So I guess what that means is, in a way, um, you kind of have the situation of affirmative action for boys trying to get into high school because girls on merit, on pure competition and ability, are beating the boys in 80% of schools. Um, and the result is that because they separate the intakes by gender to, to have some sort of a managed balance, yeah, girls are being penalized for being smarter. It's harder to get into schools because of that. Uh, boys with lower school scores can get in. Um, it reminds me I, when I when I tweeted this. Uh, yeah, again, it was surprising to me that you'd have a gender thing at all. But um, some people said, "Oh, is this like the um, thing about uh, the the lawsuits in America about affirmative action, where uh, that don't benefit Asian students, for example, who are suing like universities in America for not being able to get in, uh, even though they have better scores than people who are you know getting in." Uh, not exactly. Well, the thing with Asians is, of course, complicated, and those are often backed by a lot of uh, sort of white men's rights sort of activists and so on. Um, you know, because they were um, they were they were basically Asian men in America are uh, categorized the same as white men uh, in terms of uh, affirmative action or not being eligible for it. Um, the thing about affirmative action, of course, is is that it is to set up. It's supposed to be temporary, and it's to set up a you know to to correct. Um, underlying structural sort of social imbalances to sort of see if you can, uh, you know, in, in encourage and correct an underrepresentation that needs to be corrected. So where you have in places like Japan, the situations where, I don't, I don't think this is actually a problem at high school, but where you have situations where you might have certain minorities or certain uh, or often women uh, being vastly underrepresented. And we've talked about in the past about the Tokyo Medical University. Uh, and the situation there that they were actually deliberately trying to manage the numbers to restrict the number of women coming in because they thought they'd all get pregnant and run away and not do doctor duty at the hospital um, and all that sort of thing. So, you know, there, there are sort of prejudicial, so there's a history of prejudicial treatment of uh, to d directly aimed at discouraging women from applying to roles that they're qualified for. That was actually just a straight up injustice because they were qualified for it. But, you know, I've grown up in, in, in New Zealand in army camps and so on myself, where most of my classmates were from, uh, at least partially. In New Zealand, there's a lot of mixing, but, you know, there's uh, a lot of probably more than half my classmates were part Maori or, or, or part Pacific Island. And yeah, I remember having classmates that were as smart or smarter than me and had no I, no concept that, you know, they, they, their idea was getting school certificate, getting out of school as soon as they can and joining their parents, you know, relatives trucking company or something. I remember talking with these people who, who got better scores than me and they had detailed life plans like they had their stuff really sorted out. They were thinking about, you know, getting jobs and so on when I was thinking about climbing trees. Um, you know, I, I, I expected my parents always sort of, I, there was an expectation around me that I was going to go to university and high school, which you live up to. And it, it shows that sort of environment. You can be smart enough to go to college and not even consider it because of your environment, uh, including, you know, economic sort of barriers. And that's why you have affirmative action. This is different. This is this has an effect of effectively being affirmative action for the people who, you know, uh, uh, overall, generally, are the ones who get the jobs and the advantages uh, later on. So, yes, yeah, some people. It's kind of funny. On the one hand, there are a lot of people saying it's outrageous, of course, that we're, you know that, that that girls who are earning the better scores are not getting their places, and a lot of people, I think, are feeling like, well, that's that's what that's what affirmative action does to to you know to white men uh, in particular, and, and actually white women as well. Um, 
I, I don't think that it's always gender based, but it's not exactly the same as uh, as affirmative action. It's actually it's just an interesting outcome where you have schools trying to in, uh, ensure a gender balance. Um, not getting into the definition of gender, which is becoming increasingly complicated as well. But uh, yeah, it, it shows, and this is, by the way, very much the situation in New Zealand, that girls on average get better exam scores. I remember when I was at law school, the year that I graduated, um, you know, the top, the, the positions going at top law firms, part of the reason I left the country was, um, you know, like the top 20 law firm positions for new grads out of the 100 grads, they, they all went to girls. And uh, I, I was like in the running for one of the positions and I didn't get it and I was screw this i'm going to japan <laughs> and thank heavens it worked out great for me but um it was it was clear when i was in you know really academically competitive uh you know uh parts of university and whatnot i i was you know it was all women um and in new zealand of course representation and so on and at least based on gender has, has gone very much the other way um but um yes yeah, so it's kind of funny when the tables turn in a way that uh women are being penalized for being smarter um but uh yeah, and it's not. It's an interesting one. I mean, put in the comments what you think. I mean, uh, on the one hand, it feels wrong to be uh, to, to have quotas or just like as an outcome. Um, certainly, generally speaking, Japanese males are, are, are not a discriminated minority in Japan that needs special extra support. So any sort of an outcome that a Japanese male who has all these other advantages in life is getting a, a leg up in, in any sort of academic entrance over women, <laughs> um, you know, over more capable, uh, you know, women with better exam scores feels like a wrong outcome. But uh, there again, I, I get why schools want to have a, a, a balanced sort of gender ratio of school entrance as well um, and why they separate. It's uh, uh, it's kind of a a sign of success in a way, but um, yeah, I'm curious what people think. Anyway, leave your comments in there. Um, thought it was an interesting problem, and it, it, it reminds me a little bit. It's not the same problem as the problem of the the universities trying deliberately to block women from entering. It's different to that, but it does show that you know girls are being penalized uh, where they are actually excelling uh, based on merit. So yeah, interesting situation.